So I've certainly heard the call for more man coverage beaters, in particular that press to man under. The bottleneck meta is rampant. If you guys haven't faced it, you're extremely lucky. There's a lot of players out there that struggle with beating man to man, but that's why you should be subscribed right here to the Zan Madden YouTube channel. I've been breaking down a ton of bottleneck beating content. In today's video, we're gonna be bringing back a route that a lot of players have forgotten about. So let's talk about the tight and delay fade. Now, if that doesn't bring back some memories, it should. If you recall over the years, the tight end delay fade has been problematic for the defense. We used to have control over this where we'd snap the ball and it would stay in to block six, seven, eight seconds, and then we could release it and get it wide open against zone. Then there was the rollout glitch that existed where you would roll out, the player that was manned up on the delay fade would end up chasing the quarterback and then you would release it wide open. This year's version is pretty good because right now there's a ton of man coverage. So what we're gonna be doing here is breaking down a tip that comes straight from my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg. And right now we are running our Madden 25 pre-sale on the website. You guys can unlock everything I will do in Madden 25. Just for context, by the end of Madden 24, we will be over 300 vault tips, 10 plus offensive and defensive game plans, members only discord access. And I'm offering to unlock all Madden 24 content for those that sign up for the Madden 25 pre-sale. And if you guys are wanting to hop on for college football 25, I'm also running a pre-sale for that game as well. When that game drops, we will also offer a monthly membership tier for those that are interested as well. But let's get into it. This comes from the vault on Gridiron this year. We're gonna be showing you what happens with two man under. So first things first, with two man under, you're oftentimes dealing with press. So if I were to take a look at Nakua, Waddle, Hill, you're gonna see press animations from those defensive backs. Now, this is something that is called trail technique. Trail technique is the technique that is played specifically in two man under. Because all of these defensive backs have safety help over the top, they're gonna to play the down inside leverage on their man. In other words, they're gonna let them run past them because they know that there's help up top. This trail technique is what makes two man under with bottleneck so good because if you get the dominant press animations, they don't even really get separation and get behind these press coverage corners. But one of the things that you guys will realize with this as well is that tight ends are unbumpable, meaning that the man that is on the tight end will overrun him and allow him a free release. So you see that this is an easy, easy throw if they are on some sort of streak. Now, the thing is, sometimes when you run streaks, they get so vertical so quickly that it actually hurts your success rate. You might be able to run past that man coverage defender, but there's gonna be safeties in the area. And in this case, it was actually pretty tightly guarded as well. I could run this a few times and you'll see occasionally, I'm gonna have my tight end run right by him. But again, in most cases, the safety is there and can potentially knock this out from behind. So the regular streak is not nearly as good. Enter the delay fate. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to put the tight end on the delay route fade. This route is really good because what it does is it lulls the player that is in man coverage to sleep. He's gonna bite down. And then when this route releases, it's going to fry him. But the cool part is you could use the other routes on the field to fan the safeties out, pull them further away and open up much more of the middle of the field. So if I snap this ball here, you're gonna see this double team and then he's gonna run right by Richard Sherman. And this ends up being an easy lob over his head. A potential juke of the safety, maybe one other missed tackle. This could potentially be a one play score. So I'm gonna run this a few times here. We'll just put some fades on the field to the outside receivers. You could do whatever you want with the rest of your route combo. You know, you might go whips. Doesn't really matter. This is all designed to beat a two man under trail technique. So we put Mackey on the delay fade. He's gonna release, he's gonna run right by his man and you can throw this ball up on the run. You see that that safety is nowhere near and bare minimum, we're looking at 40 to 50 yards. Again here, you could run a variety of different route combos against a three man rush. I'm just gonna slide protect towards the edge rusher and double team. That's gonna make sure that the tackle helps the tight end. He doesn't release right away. And then he's gonna release into the pattern and fry his man. And you see right there, that's exactly what occurs. We rack it down the field and we're out. So this is pretty great stuff as it pertains being able to be a dollar style defense. This is also great against 3-3 three, three Cub, really any three down linemen in the game. Where this becomes a little bit more difficult is when you start to get into four down linemen sets. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna call two man under out of a big nickel over G. With a big nickel over G, the problem that you might run into is sometimes they're gonna leave 
that tight end delay on an island with this player. This doesn't mean that he can't beat the man-to-man -man coverage. It just means you're gonna be under duress because he's gonna release that guy immediately. So here's what I would recommend. You have the ability with this as well to still go ahead and do a double team. I would recommend slide protecting right and double teaming. This might get you sacked off the left side depending on the techniques. But again, you see here how easy this is gonna be. We can fry this man coverage defender and be able to pick up 40 to 50 yards. Where this starts to get kind of weird is when your opponents go to the contains on the defensive line. Contains on the defensive line are going to cause the tight end delay fade to release right away. So what we're gonna do here is show, I'm just gonna contain my defense and I'm gonna show you what the tight end does. He should just run his pattern right away. And this is not great because one, it doesn't allow the man coverage to run down and get run by. And two, it brings the contain rusher in free. So when you're dealing with this, you have to put in a specific slide protection that is going to make it so he can release right away. This is where I'm going to urge you guys to head to gridiron game plans, because if you guys do this correctly, this is going to end up allowing you to be able to uh, make this work. This is going to allow you to be able to beat the contains. You don't want that tight end releasing right away. You want your player to stay in, block a little bit, and then release with a relative consistent timing. Again, this is a concept that when you're facing two man under, a lot of times you're gonna be dealing with a base rush. A lot of players that run two man under are not blitzing out of this. So understanding how to set this up in a way that's gonna make it so the tight end actually does his job and then releases wide open down the middle of the field is going to be key. So this is a great way to beat two man under. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you guys are subscribed right here to the channel. I'm dropping all kinds of great content in the mornings, Monday through Friday with our long form uploads, shorts in the afternoon. We'll have one this afternoon as well. And make sure you guys check out those pre-sales on Gridiron. If you guys want the other Blitz pickup formula for the four man rush, that's in our vault. Make sure you guys check out the June vault and all of the other content. So much content on the website. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.